Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's me, Shannon. I'm back with you with another story. Today's story is by Dr. Seuss. He's the author and the illustrator. So what does the author do? I don't hear you. He writes the words and the illustrator Right, he draws the pictures. So the title of our pet of our book is One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. You see that? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay? So this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. And when we open it up, we have a title page. Very good. So, let's get started and see what happens in this book today. Okay. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. But I know all of you can already read that because you can read your color words and you can read your number words so you know you can read that. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, and new fish. He's a baby, so he's new, right? This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. So this book is all about the different types of fish that there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue, some are old and some are new, some are sad. He's sad. And some are glad, just like you, some people and, and kids. Some kids are happy, some kids are glad, and even sometimes you get sad. It's okay to have all those different types of emotions. Remember we talked about our feelings? It's okay to get happy, and it's okay to be glad, and it's okay to also be sad sometimes. That's right. And some are very, very bad. What did he do? He hit the other fish. But remember what we talked about with our feelings? It's okay to have our feelings, but we need to use our words and not our hands. Why are they so sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin. Just like people. Some people are thin. And some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. That's a big fish. I'm going fishing. I want to catch the big fish. How many of you go fishing? Oh. Remember the video I showed you from last weekend when I went fishing? I don't want to catch a little fish. I want to catch what kind of fish? Big fish. Who wants to catch a little tiny fish? Big fish. Big fish. That's right. From here to there, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in hot, hot sun. How many of you guys just like to run and run and run? Like when we go outside on the playground and we do relay races from the fence to the other side, back and forth, round and round. And then sometimes we do, you know, the blue balance beam all the way around. We don't want to fall in the don't want to fall in the water, right? So we keep walking around and around and around. You guys are getting really good at that. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, me, oh, my. What a lot of funny things go by. Look at those funny things. But the kids, they're just watching them. Some have two feet. Some have four. Look, see the big elephant thing? He has one, two, three, four. 
And some of them just have two. One, two. Some have six. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine having six feet? Six feet? Man. Two, I have like two feet and it's hard enough for me to walk. I'm old, I'm old enough to know how to walk and I still fall down. But four feet? I watch my dog all the time with her four feet. Man, but six feet? I might have a little trouble with that. And then there are some that have more than that. Where do they come from? I cannot say. But I bet they have come a very long, long way. Look at them from way back here. They, come, they start from way back here. And then they come around all the way around, all the way around, all the way, all the way, all the way. That's a long ways away. Man. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast, and then some are slow. What does that look like to you? See his shell right there? He looks kind of like a snail with a feather. Hanging on the end. Snails are very slow, aren't they? Snails are very slow. Some are high. See, he's very high. And some are low. Look at him down there in the little bottom. Very low. But none of them are like another. Don't ask us why. Go ask your mother. Are any of you guys the same? And Pine Flasher. We have, like, Hazer has red hair. Cameron has blonde hair. Melanie is a girl. And then Jepter is a boy. We're all different, aren't we? Some of us have brown eyes and some of us have green eyes. And some of you guys have blue eyes. We're all different. Some of us are a little taller than the others and some of us are a little shorter. Like, Miss Amanda's a little taller than me and I'm shorter. But we're all special, even though we're all different. Remember we talked about that? That even if we're different, we're still special. That's what makes us special, being different. Say, look at his fingers. One, two, three. How many fingers do you see? On this hand, let's count, okay? One, two, three, four. Four. Let's look at this hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on one hand? How many fingers do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five. We have five fingers on our hands. Seven fingers on one hand? That's a lot. Four fingers. One, two, three, four. That's just like missing a thumb. But seven's a lot. I bet he could pick up a lot of things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has eleven. If you add those together, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He has eleven fingers all together. Eleven. This is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Do you wish you had eleven fingers? I don't know. That would be weird. Bump, bump, bump. What are they riding on? Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. See his hump? This is a wump with one hump. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. Seven humps on his wump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven humps on his wump. It's kind of like a camel, but it's a wump. So if you like to go bump, bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. It's so little his feet stick out. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of my bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh my dear, my head sticks out the bed up here. I think
think he needs a bigger bed. Don't you think? I think he's grown into a bigger bed. We like our bike. It is made of three. One, two, three. Our mic sits up in back, you see. See, that's, that's Mike, that's their mic. We like our Mike and this is why. Mike does all the work when the hills get high. See, their Mike pushes them up the hill. He does all the work for them to get them up the hill. Hello there, Ned, how do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. So there's his friend calling Ned. And Ned's in his bed. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. All those things are in his bed. He has no room for anything else. Good gracious. Oh dear, oh dear, I cannot hear. Will you please come over here? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something here, I fear. Oh, so they come over. Say, look, a bird was in your ear. A bird was in his ear. Chirp, 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 chirp. There, the bird comes out. But he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. Ooh. Hey. Mine are not gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. And now my story is all told. We took a look. We saw a nook. On his head, he had a hook. Look, on his hat. That, look, he yeah, had a hook. He had a book on his hook. Was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So what good to a nook is the book? On the hook. If a nook can't read, somebody's going to have to read for him, right? That's what I think, too. The moon was out, and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep. Sheep live on the farm. Good gracious. How'd they end up there? We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. They was in their sleep and they took a walk. Man. By the light of the moon, by the light of the star, they walked all night from near, near as works close, to far, which is far away. I would never walk. I would take a car. Now, if you're walking, you're using your what? Your feet. If you're in a car, you're driving. The car's taking you where you need to go. I do not like this one as so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I would not have this one about when he comes in. I put him out. This one is quite as a mouse. I like to have him in my house. So that must be a quiet animal. This is a loud animal. So quiet, loud. So what are they? They're opposites. Now, right? So we have opposites. Opposites are things that are not the same. Like cold, boom, and then hot. Oh, it's hot. Those are opposites. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans. And that is why we have our Zans. This is the Zans. And up here, he opens the cans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? If you don't, then you should. I like to box. 
how I like to box. So every day I box a gox. This is the gox. He's boxing the gox. Now boxing is not real. It's pretend play boxing. Okay. In yellow socks, I box my gox in a yellow gox box socks. See, they're just pretending. They're not really going to get hurt. It is fun to sing if you sing with a zing. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high and my ying sings low. <gasps> high and low. What are they? They're opposites too. Hmm. And we are not too bad, you know? Singing in the shower, in the bathtub. Do you sing when you're in the bathtub? When you take a shower, do you sing? This one, I think, is called a Yinx. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. Look at there. He thinks he likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. What is ink? What is ink? Drink and ink, they rhyme. Don't they? Because they sound the same. They're not the same word, but they sound like the same word. Drink and ink. But ink is what's in a pen when you write, isn't it? The ink he likes to drink is pink. That rhymes too. How about that? He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. Hop, hop, hop. I am a yop. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. See? Finger top to finger top. He is a yop. I hop from left to right, then hop hop, I hop from right back again. I like to hop all day and all night from right to left, from right to left. Brush, 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 brush. Comb, 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 comb. Mm. Like the, he's fixing someone in, or she's fixing something's hair. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet. Like this at home. There's her little, little tiny doggy, but it's got a lot of blue hair. And she's fixing her doggy's hair. Can you see that? Can you see that? Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this pet get. Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Try to fly a kite in his bed. Did you ever walk with 10 cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? Well, we can do it, we know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun and fun is good. Hello, hello, are you there? Hello, I called you up to say hello. Can you hear me, Joe? Oh no, I cannot hear you call. I cannot hear you call at all. This is not good and I know why. A mouse has cut the wire. Goodbye. They're trying to talk to each other, but look at the bottom. The mouse cut the wire. From here, near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called Zeds. They have one hair on top of their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast they say they need a haircut every day. So all these zeds line up every day to get a haircut because that one hair grows so fast. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a, what is this? A dish, a plate, called a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand. 
with a big swish swish. Then I say, I wish for fish. And I get fish right away on my dish. So if you wish to wish for a fish, and you swish for fish with my ish wish dish. At our house, we play out back. We play a game called Ring the Gag. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have to only, we have the only one yak in town. They throw rings onto his antlers. What other kind of animal has antlers besides the, besides the yak? Deer, moose, very good. Look what we found in the park in the dark. We will take him home and we'll call him Clark. He will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We do not know. So they named him Clark. And now, good night. It is time to sleep. So we will sleep with our pet, Zeep. Today is gone. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. If you use your imagination, you can think of all kinds of things. I hope you enjoyed your story today. And there'll be more stories tomorrow. And there'll be games. There'll be a color game and some shapes. And some more words to learn. I hope you're working on your packets. I hope you're signing your name. I hope you're drawing in your journal, doing your math. Because you're so smart. You guys are so smart. Keep learning for me, okay? And I'll keep checking in. Have a good afternoon, guys.